If you're like me, you use Confluence to track a lot of information, including decisions you and your team have made over time. And it can be really important to be able to quickly find those decisions and remember what you decided to do. So here, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to track decisions you're making in Confluence. Let's jump in. Here we're in Confluence Cloud. This is a premium version, but what I'm going to show you will work in any version of Confluence, including Data Center. And I'm just going to click on my Decisions Made page to show you what it looks like to track decisions. Here, I can see two decisions have been made and then where they were made. This is a great way to quickly remind ourselves, what did we decide to do about widgets? And then we can go see the page where that decision is to get more context. So now I'm going to show you how you can record them. First, let's say I have some new meeting notes or a new page. So I'm just going to create a page. And in this example, I'll use the meeting notes template, and then I'll give the page a name. I'll include whatever notes I need to include, and then I'll have a section on decisions. Now, I like to have a specific section on the page just called decisions where I put them all to visually group them. But you can do what I'm about to show you anywhere on the page. I'll type a forward slash to add a macro and just type in the word decision and hit enter. And you'll see this gray bar show up with add a decision. And I'll just record whatever the team decided. Maybe I have multiple decisions, so I can just hit enter and add another one. And I can repeat this until every decision has been categorized. Again, I like to put them in one spot, but you can use this macro anywhere on the page. Next, I'm going to publish this. And I'm also going to put a label on this page just to help ensure that people can find it. Maybe I'll call it project. The next thing I need to do is pull together all of these decisions. So I'm going to make a brand new page in my space, go back to the top, click my plus and page and call this one project decisions. Next, I'm going to use a decisions report macro, that same forward slash and click decision report. And we can see that same list of decisions we made along with our two new ones. So right away, I am providing value and capturing these decisions in one spot. Now, I want to take this a step further, though. I'm going to click on the little edit pencil for the macro. And we can see it's just defaulting to this current space. Maybe I have teams working in different spaces and I have to track the decisions from different projects or different areas. I can list those spaces here and expand where I'm looking for decisions. I can also add more filters. For example, maybe I only want to take decisions from pages related to projects. If I refresh the preview, I'll now see just those two I made because that page has that label. So decisions by themselves are very useful, but if I consider them when I also think about how I use labels, they get even more powerful. And there are a number of other filters I can use. What type of content, when it was created, who made it? Maybe I only want to see decisions on a page created by a certain person. And there are a few options in terms of how I display them. Will I sort them by title or when the page was created, etc. I'm going to save this and then publish this page. And that is how I can track decisions in Confluence very, very quickly. All it takes is me adding that decision macro anywhere I take notes. And I'll see visually a decision was made. And then using that decisions report on a single page or even on a page with other information to pull in decisions. Personally, I find this very useful for weekly status reports that I can send to a stakeholder. They can see what the team talked about and decisions made and then go get more context if they need it. They can go explore this information, but they can also just see what we decided. So that's how to record decisions very quickly in Confluence. I really hope you found this useful. If you did, please like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos again soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.